Welcome to our video on color theory with light. Hi, I'm Evan Higgins, and I'm a senior at the University of North Carolina School of the Arts. I'm studying theatrical lighting design. I'm here at a theater in New York City for an internship. All the lights in this video are being controlled by this lighting console. An operator is able to sit at the lighting console and tell specific lights to turn on at specific levels. Today I'm going to demonstrate for you color mixing and light. Let's go down to the stage to see what it's all about. Working with light is very different than working with pigment. Pigment is the coloring agent found in inks, dyes, and paints. Light can also act as its own coloring agent in conjunction with pigment. This is a typical theatrical lighting instrument. The source of light inside of this is a tungsten lamp. A tungsten lamp produces a very clean, white, warm light. In order to get color to appear on stage, we have to use what is called gels. This is what a gel looks like. We put the gel in front of the light in order to get a desired color to appear on stage. Let's go look at what the effect of a gel looks like. Now I'm standing under a tungsten lamp with a blue gel in front of it. As you can see, the light around me now appears blue. You can see the difference with the natural tungsten lamp behind me. Similar to Isaac Newton using his glass prism, we are splitting the white light into separate wavelengths. The gels filter out certain wavelengths and only allow other wavelengths to pass through. In theater, we can manipulate the eye into seeing many different colors just by varying mixtures of color in relation to the objects on stage. We're going to begin with simple combinations of primary colors. This is a mixture of pure red and pure blue light. This results in the color magenta. This is a mixture of pure red and pure green light. This results in yellow light. This is a mixture of blue and green light. This results in cyan. By combining the three primary colors in light, we've created something pretty close to white. But if we look at my shadows, we could see all the different colors. Watch what happens to the colors in the shadow when I move around. Let's look at some more examples. Let's see how color can be used on stage to further accentuate a mood or feeling. John Wigley, a Kane University student, is here helping me with the demonstration of portraying emotions through color. The whole mood or feeling can change depending on the colored light. Look how the same shirt now appears to be a different color. Also recall that, although we are mixing light, the color that we'll see is the reflected color. The wavelengths of light reflecting off of the object, 
while the remaining wavelengths get absorbed into the object. When we work with light, we have to keep in mind the color of an object as well as the color of the light we are shining on it. In the study of light and color, you need to recognize the primary colors, the resulting mixtures and variations, and their reaction to the color of the object you are illuminating. Colors are never seen in isolation. Colors are always interacting as mixtures within themselves or in arrangements with other colors. By using different color gels, we're able to create many, maybe not millions, but many different colors of light. You may not be studying lighting design for theater, but you can still use this information whenever designing with light in art, graphic design, interior design, advertising design, and architecture. Light is a major element in creative work. Remember, no light, no color.